Since that time, on how many occasions have you seen and interacted with Johnny Depp from that very first time on movie night? I couldn't even speculate the number of. It's it's not that it was infrequent so much as it was sporadic and honestly for a large portion of it fairly casual. Not the kind of thing where you would just count the number of times. It was regular interactions over various periods of time. Well, your counsel is not going to let you speculate. But I'm going to ask you to get a, a range. Is it more than 10 times? Yes. More than 50 times? Yes. From the time that you first met Mr. Depp on movie night until this very moment sitting here today, have you ever seen Mr. Depp strike Amber Heard? No. Have you ever seen him throw a telephone at her? No. Have you ever uh, seen him hit her with a fist? No. Have you ever lived at a building located at 849 South Broadway in Los Angeles known as the Eastern Columbia Building? Correct. <coughs> Did you live in the condo known as Penthouse One? Correct. With whom did you live in Penthouse One? Raquel Pennington. From when to when did you live in Penthouse One with Rocky Pennington? Um, again, my memory is a little bit foggy of exact dates. Uh, man. You'll have to bear with me a minute here. Um, so while I was a frequent guest, I didn't actually live there until I want to say about October or November of 2015. Was Rocky already living in Penthouse One when you started visiting and ultimately moved in there? Yes. Did Ms. Pennington move into Penthouse One in or about June of 2014? I couldn't tell you with any specificity, but I believe it's around that time frame. Who owned Penthouse One at the time? Johnny Depp. While you and Rocky lived together in Penthouse One, did, did you or she have a key that allowed you access to all of the penthouses on that floor? Everything except PH2, yes. Did, at the time, did Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard live together in PH3? Sporadically, yes. The key that, to which you and Rocky had access allowed either of you to enter PH3, correct? Correct. Did it, uh, who was in PH5 at the time? Nobody. Nobody lived in PH5 for the entirety of our time there. Did you or Rocky ever pay Mr. Depp any rent to live in PH1? Offered and refused. Did you consider the refusal of your offer to be a generous gesture by Mr. Depp? Exceedingly. In your experience, is Mr. De Depp generally generous to his friends? Yes. Is he generous to people generally? Yes. Did Mr. Depp own Penthouse 5? Yes. <coughs> Would your key have opened Penthouse 5? Yes. When you and Rocky were living here in Penthouse 1, did you ever notice that there were security personnel standing outside the door of Penthouse 3 when Mr. Depp was in Penthouse 3? Not normally, no. Did you ever see the security personnel standing outside of his door? On very rare occasion. Normally they were in a storage room off to the side of PH5. <coughs> Moving aside from... Mr. Bett and Mr. Judge, while you stayed at the East Columbia building, did you come to know any of the employees of the building? Uh, casually. Who is Trinity Esparza? She was one of the front desk people. Did you have communications with her? In the course of living there, yes. Did you find her to be pleasant? No. What, what, how was she unpleasant? She was not particularly polite or accommodating to me or Raquel or any of Amber's friends. I wasn't there specifically, but I heard similar things from Amber and her interactions with her as well throughout the <coughs> course of our time there. While you lived in Penthouse One, did you have the opportunity to interact often with Amber Heard? Yes. Did you and Rocky see Miss Heard frequently? Yes. Did you ever see her drinking alcohol? Yes. <coughs> Did you ever see her drink to excess? Yes. Did you observe Amber Heard during her wedding to Mr. Depp at the Bahamas? Yes. Was she intoxicated at any time during the wedding weekend? Yes. Uh, As were we all. Did you ever hear at any time Amber Heard yell at Mr. Depp? Yes. On how many occasions? 
couldn't tell you the number of occasions. Did you ever see her strike Mr. Depp? No. Have, did you and Rocky ever discuss the relationship between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp? Yes. On how many occasions? Honestly, probably hundreds, if not thousands. Mr. Drew, moving to April 21, 2016, do you recall that there was to have been a birthday celebration that night? Yes. Was that Amber Heard's birthday? Yes. Do you recall which birthday it was for her, how old she was? It was her 30th. I catered it. What do you recall about that evening? I recall it was held in PH5. Um, Johnny was hours late, um, and Amber spent the better part of the evening making excuses for him. Um, and he came very obviously intoxicated and put on a show for everybody. Um, and when the party was over, or we left, cleaned up, and the next morning we heard about what had transpired after the fact. So Johnny was supposed to have attended the dinner, correct? Correct. And at what time did the dinner begin? I don't recall. You and Rocky were guests at the dinner? Correct. Who else was invited to the dinner? Um, again, you'll have to forgive me. It was quite some time ago. I remember Amber's friend Brandon being there, uh, Amber's friend Iggy, a rabbi. I want to say that Whitney was there as well. Um, to be very honest, I can't say with specificity who else was there. When you say Whitney, are you referring to Whitney Hurd? Correct. Is Whitney Hurd Amber's younger sister? Correct. Putting aside the state or condition in which Johnny arrived, do you recall sitting here today approximately when Johnny arrived for dinner? I really couldn't tell you with any specificity, but I can say it was quite a few hours after the party had started. Did he provide any excuse or explanation to the group as to why he was late? No. Putting aside Mr. Depp's intake of alcohol that evening. Uh, had Miss Heard been drinking before Mr. Depp arrived? Yes. Do you know how much? Couldn't tell you. Did she seem intoxicated during at any time during the evening? Yes. Did you see Amber Heard the next morning, April 22nd, 2016? I believe so, yes. <clears throat> Did you notice any marks on her face or elsewhere that morning? I don't recall. That morning, April 22nd, did you and Ms. Pennington and Amber Heard drive together to Coachella? They did. I did not. Are you still in contact with Amber Heard? Sporadically, yes. And, and just, just to be clear, and I'm sorry to jump around, um, when you say... Check that. Um, are you, you say sporadically, how frequently are you in contact with her? We didn't speak for about two years following my divorce, and it, she reached out to me to make amends about, I want to say about two months ago, if memory serves. I'm going to come back to that. When you said um, you don't recall seeing marks on the morning of April 22nd, is that because you didn't see any marks on this or you didn't see her at all that morning? I, I honestly don't recall the state of her the next morning.